If you own the Oculus Go, you can now play Steam VR games with two controllers using Fridge. You can use the Oculus Go controller as the first controller, and as a second controller, you can use your phone. It's a very creative way to get started with the more heavyweight PC VR games without having to buy an expensive VR headset, like the HTC Vive or Oculus Rift. In this video, I'll show you what it is like and also how you can get it to set up. Coming up, don't forget to subscribe to see more VR videos like this one. Fridge makes it possible to play Steam VR games without an expensive VR headset. Its technology can make your PC think that any affordable standalone VR headset like the Oculus Go or the Google Daydream or the Samsung Gear VR is a powerful PC VR headset giving you the ability to play the games. Not only that, it can also turn your mobile phone into a powerful PC VR headset giving you the ability to play PC VR games in full 3D with like a Google Cardboard or other solutions like this <laughs> nifty little thing we have here. How do I look? It also supports the standalone headsets like the HTC Vive Focus, Lenovo Mirage Solo and the upcoming Oculus Quest will get support as well. Basically, Fridge streams the gameplay into your device while still maintaining its head tracking features. It's a smart piece of software. Fridge is $15 and can be purchased from riftcat.com. Check the link down below. If you don't know if you'll like it, you can also download the free version where you can get 5 minutes of playtime if you don't register. If you register an account, you can get 10 minutes of playtime per session for free. You can try the free version as many times as you want, so after 10 minutes, you can restart the session and you'll get another 10 minutes. This way you can try out multiple games for free. In this video, I'll only explain how to set Fridge up for your Oculus Go and afterwards also your phone. The setup is much easier and more intuitive than I expected, so I'm guessing this will be the same for all other devices. Of course, to be able to launch a Steam VR game, you will need a Steam VR compatible PC or laptop so that you can launch the game. If you are a gamer, you will most likely have one already. Let's start with the Oculus Go setup. All you have to do is this. Step 1. First of all, make sure you have Steam and Steam VR installed on your PC. Links are down below in the description. Step 2. Then go to the riftcat.com website and download the Fridge tool. Step 3. Then install it per instructed. Step 4. When it's done, launch the Riftcat client. It will immediately start looking for a connection. If you click on Oculus Go now, you will get a guide on how to install the Riftcat app on your Go. I will explain how to do that in the next steps as well. Step 5. Go back to the Riftcat website. This time make sure you are logged in. Step 6. Then navigate to riftcat.com slash claim slash oculus and it will generate a key for you. Copy this key. Step 7. Now go to the oculus.com website, make sure you are logged in, click on your profile icon, then go to my gear VR slash oculus go. Step 8. Click on redeem code, paste the code here and press redeem. Step 9. Put on your oculus go, go to your library, not installed, and find the Fridge app here. Install it and then launch. Step 10. Take off your Oculus Go and look at your desktop screen. The Riftcat client will now find your Oculus Go. Confirm here that this is the right device by clicking yes. Step 11. Then just click the play button here. It will now launch Steam VR. If this is your first time launching Steam VR, it will ask you to do the room setup. Step 12. In the room setup, choose standing only. Then click next. Turn your headset in a forward position and then press calibrate sender button. Wait until it finishes, then click next. Type in your body height here, wait for it to finish, click next and it's done. The Steam VR Home will now launch and you are ready to play. Make sure you turn on the audio streaming toggle here to also get gameplay audio. As you can see, it is pretty easy to get everything set up and working. To get the best quality, make sure you have the recommended requirements as shown on the Riftcat website. And the most important thing here is to use a 5 GHz Wi-Fi connection because you will get a much better Wi-Fi speed with this and thus better quality. For phones, you can even connect it to the PC with an USB cable for the best connection. Right now I am using a 5 GHz Wi-Fi connection on both my laptop and Oculus Go and as you can see I can play VR chat pretty well. If you are curious about my laptop specifications you can check out our link in the description. 
If you encounter any artifacts or lag, then you can also change up the streaming options in Fridge. You can use this diode to make the streaming quality higher or lower. The lower you make it, the lesser the lag or artifacts will be. If you know what you are doing, you can also turn on advanced settings, making it possible to change all kinds of different video settings and tracking options. Also make sure you are close to your router for the best quality. When I moved away from the router, as you can see here, you can get lag or artifacts. Now I have to say our walls in our condo are very thick and isolated, so Wi-Fi connections have a difficult time getting through. If your walls are not as isolated as ours, you might be able to play further away from your router. Fridge might not be for you if you are not able to get a stable Wi-Fi connection. I would recommend to try the software out first before buying. Now one of the most recent updates also added the feature to add your phone as a second controller. But for now this feature only works with uh, Android phones. So to get this working you need this Fridge controller app that you can download from the Google Play Store. It's not free, unfortunately it costs about $5. In just a bit I will show you what it is like to play with your phone as a controller so you can check if it is worth it for you. But first let me show you how to set up your phone for this. Once you've installed the app there isn't much to it. Just make sure you have your stream up on the desktop app and that your phone is on the same Wi-Fi connection as your laptop. It will then detect that there is a stream up immediately. Select it and you can immediately use your phone as a controller. If it isn't detected immediately, make sure your phone is on the same Wi-Fi connection and if it still doesn't detect, you can also manually enter the IP of your laptop here. In the app a couple of buttons show up that you can use to simulate the VR controller. Like there's a button for the grip and the trigger and there's also a button to select which hand your phone is in. Here I am playing Beat Saber with a Go controller and my phone. It is still 3 degrees of freedom, meaning that I cannot move my hands forward or backward like with the 6 degrees of freedom PC VR controller. I can only do movements like this. However, as you can see, it works pretty well. There are other options to get 6 DAF controllers working with the Oculus Go using, for example, the Nintendo Switch Joy-Cons or a PSVR Move controller though. If you would like to see the video on how to get 6 DAF controllers working with the Oculus Go, then let us know down below or leave a like so we know that there is interest in it. I have a Samsung S9 Plus and I have to say it isn't super comfortable to press the buttons on my big phone while using it in VR. For Beat Saber it is pretty okay because I don't need any buttons, but the game that relies on buttons, it won't be very playable with the phone. It's probably also not very comfortable to use your phone as a VR controller for a long period of time since it isn't designed to be used that way. But since most of us already have a phone, it is a cheap solution to get started with PC VR games that need two controllers. You can even add a second phone and use both phones as controllers, or mix it up with the other controller options in Fridge. Fridge also makes it possible to simulate PC VR controllers with your keyboard and mouse or an Xbox controller. Now this can work well in VR games that have compatibility for those inputs like Subnautica or Elite Dangerous. However, if you want to play a VR game that relies a lot on 6 DAF VR controllers, it is still a bit awkward. You can try tweaking around in the bridge settings, but this needs a bit of work still. For example, I killed my little quill way too much in Moss VR. I feel so evil. <laughs> Now, as I said before, you can also use your phone as a Steam VR headset. For this to work, you just download the Fridge 2 app from the Google Play Store. Then launch the app and the desktop Riftcat client will automatically detect your phone if it is on the same Wi-Fi connection. Then to start playing, you press play here as well. Then the content will be streamed on your phone like this. This is probably the most inexpensive way to get started in VR since with this option you can use the Gear VR or even the Google Cardboard to play Steam VR games. We don't own these two so we cannot try that out but we do have this nifty thing. You can place this on the line here. By the way this isn't something affiliated with Fridge, it's just something we got with our 360 camera. You can probably get these things for really cheap on eBay as well. Of course, this glasses thing is mostly just fun to try out, but not really a sustainable method to play VR games with. It could be cool to use this to show off some 360 photos or videos to friends since everything is in full 3D this way. The Gear VR and Google Cardboard would be way more fun because you can wear it 
on your head, like Fridge on the Oculus Go. It's pretty cool. There are a couple of good free Steam VR games that are worth it to try out, like Google Earth VR that you see here. The software supports a wide range of games since it is compatible with the OpenVR standard. Now, if you already own a PC VR headset, Fridge is definitely not a replacement for that. The quality that you get from those headsets is of course much better because those games and experiences are made for those headsets. A stream of the game can never be as good. Even with a fast internet connection, you still have some quality loss in graphics. But I am surprised at how intuitive everything works, how easy the setup is and also that the tracking works without any noticeable tracking delays. I can actually play a fast paced game like Beat Saber and I think that is impressive. I do think Fridge is better suitable for games that don't rely much on hand controllers. So any see the games that you can play with a keyboard and mouse or the Xbox controllers are pretty fun. Especially with a standalone headset, you don't have to worry about any cables. And if you have a good Wi-Fi connection, you can even bring your headset to, I don't know, your bed and play while laying down. You do really have to make sure that your Wi-Fi connection is good though, or else you will get lag or artifacts. This could take a bit of time to get configured, and if you don't have good Wi-Fi, you might not be able to make it work at all. I would recommend to just try out the free trial first to make sure. So yes, I think in any case, Fridge is an impressive piece of software. Heads off to the developers in making VR more accessible to more people and hopefully get more people in it too. That's exactly what we're trying to do with this channel as well. So I am really happy to see smart people make creative solutions like this one to help this goal. And I think $15 for what you get is a pretty good deal. Their plans for the future is an iOS version of their apps and the Oculus Quest will also get support. I think Fridge might be the go-to app to play Steam VR games on that headset. It will be incredible to do that with a standalone 6 DAF headset. I cannot wait. Anyway, if you have any trouble at all or any questions, please leave a comment down below. We would love to help and uh, we would also really love to hear your thoughts about uh, Fridge as well. And if you have more trouble, you can also use uh, Riftcat support. Uh, I put their support email down below as well. They are very responsive. And this is also the end of this video. So a special thank you goes to our right hand patron called Art Armin. And uh, a special shout out goes to his Patreon page. Thank you all so much for your support. You all make our day every day. So as always, VR on. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> on fridge as well, um, curious, man, <sighs> if you, yeah. get out if you want, and uh, well, this is also not what I want to say, leave a comment down below, um, what am I doing, and also if, um,